Welcome to Conversations. I'm your host, Isis, and today I'm speaking with Miss Antonina Griffin, who is a wonderful, inspirational woman um, who has a touching story to tell today. And we're going to talk to her a little bit about how she's making waves and inspiring people everywhere. So welcome, Antonina. How you doing? Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm blessed. Now, I saw your video, and um, actually, a friend of mine sent the video to me, and I saw the video, and I was just like, wow, that is definitely a touching story, a moving story, um, and it's just so inspiring. So, first, you know, for those who may have not seen your video yet, um, which we will have a link to the video. Um, but for those who haven't seen the video yet, just give them a brief summary of, of who you are and your story. Okay, well, I am Antonina Griffin. I'm the mother of five and the wife to an awesome husband, um, Darren Griffin. I grew up, I would say life for me wasn't a crystal stair. Um, grew up with my grandmother raised me. My mother really wasn't in the home and she died when I was nine years old. My father has never been a part of my life. So um, growing up, I did suffer from molestation. My aunt's boyfriend did molest me. I also was a teenage mom. I got pregnant at 17. Um, I also endured rape. Um, and when my baby was only three months old, my grandmother passed and my mom and grandma died on the exact same day, 10 years apart, which was March 23rd. So, you know, my life was a little rough. I was, I sold drugs. I was in a domestic violent relationship. Um, got four kids by three different men. So you name it, I probably done been through it, but God, God is just, is awesome and when I when I discovered him that's when I discovered me that's who when I discovered who Antonina Griffin was wow that's an awesome testimony so the first question I have for you is what pushed you inspired you to say I'm gonna share my story the way that you shared it like what 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 was the creative process I don't even know how it came to you just one day like what what came to you and said let's do this reason why I created it is because I was a little angry. <clears throat> I was upset at a few women that had been um, sort of talking about me. And I don't, I'm not a person that worries about what other people say about me, but the thing is they were discussing me with some kids. And these are the kids that I'm trying to mentor. So I, it provoked me actually to, to let them know, you don't know what Antonina Griffin has gone through. You don't know me. Therefore, you have no right to put your mouth on me. And a lot of times, us as women, we have a way of running our mouths too much. And you never know what the next person had gone through. So I decided to, to let them know, you know, instead of me being confrontational, the, t the kind of person that I used to be, I decided to take a different approach. And that approach was to show them who I am. And had you known me, then maybe you wouldn't be talking about me. Or you never know that one thing that you said could have pushed me to the edge. And I could have went postal on you and anybody else. So anger is what, what provoked me to do it. And now I'm, I'm able to tell them women, thank you. Thank you for talking about me because it has pushed me to the next dimension in my life. And by and really by, you know, um, though it was sparked by anger, when you got that out, it was a healing process. And and at the same time that healing process went on to inspire others. So so yeah, you can look back now and say, you know what, if it had never been for someone ticking me and taking me to that level of just I had to tell them off. You know, if, if you had never got to that level of having to say, you don't really know me, but I want to tell you about me. 
um, right. then you never would have had that healing process because in speaking things, we, we actually have the opportunity to heal because we speak our hurts, we speak our pains, but at the same time, in your testimony, you spoke the overcoming. So, so, so that was definitely the healing process in your story. So I know you, I noticed you talked about some organizations that you've started, which are awesome, um, to come from what you endured to wanting to reach and teach so many. Talk about your organizations. Um, well, I started out with the SCAR Foundation, which SCAR stands for to strengthen, comfort, atone, and restore the heart. And the awesome thing about a SCAR is it's a wound that has completely healed. And <clears throat> although, you know, the SCAR reminds you of the pain, it no longer causes you pain. And I know we as women, we go through so much, whether it be molestation or rape, or betrayal, or gossip, or lies, whatever the case may be, we go through a lot. But use it, me, I use God's use me. <clears throat> and he healed me completely of all my past hurts. So now my heart is full of scars. And those issues remind me of the pain, but it causes me no more pain. So I, I, I started that back in 2006. Uh, we have a uh, the the level three group home, which is in Lexington, North Carolina, is um, to provide mental health support to kids ages 12 to 18. And just last year, we started. Um, we just got licensed through the state of North Carolina to provide substance abuse treatment to adolescents that are on drugs or whatever. And my daughters, ages 11 and 13, my two youngest daughters, they started a nonprofit organization called I Got Your Back. And BAC stands for Bullying Ain't Cool. So we got all that going on and just launching Growing Beyond Measure. And that's where we provide mental health support in different states. So we're, we're doing some stuff, trying to just walk in our purpose as a family. Definitely, definitely. Definitely, definitely. So you're definitely a a great um, inspiration for your kids as well to see you walk through and go through um, what you did and come out as an uh, as a overcomer. Designs. We specialize in graphic and fine art. Brand your business professionally and affordably. Visit us online today at shoneyd.wix.com forward slash shoneydart. I hear that girl.com, the premier website for all women. Fashion, inspiration, entertainment, and more. Log on today www.ihearthatgirl.com What do you say about your faith? How do you profess your faith to others? My faith is, I'm, I'm telling you, if it had not been for God, I wouldn't be who I am. It's nobody but him that kept me. And I will profess Jesus Christ until he comes back. You know, I am a proud Christian. I would wear the Christian, you, you know, I love Jesus t-shirt because I want everybody to know that I love me some Jesus. And, and my faith is where it is, is because only he can take a woman that has four kids by three different men and allow me to marry the man of my dreams, allow me to marry a man that fathers all four of my kids. Only God can do something like that. So my trust and faith in him is just unreal. Um, only God can take a woman that graduated from high school, only a high school education, and allow me to start businesses, allow me to start nonprofit organizations. And I had no clue as to what I was doing. So, so he had to lead me and guide me. And I'm in school now, but it didn't take higher education for me to accomplish some of my dreams and some of my goals. So God is, is, oh my God, girl, I can, I can go on 
and on and on about my Jesus, but he's just amazing to me. He kept me. He, he was there for me when, when I had no mother, no father, nobody, nobody but me and my four kids. And he has always been there. He has never left me nor forsaken me. And, and I owe him all the glory. My whole story, at the end of the day, is all to bring God so much glory. Yes. Not Antonina, but God. And you definitely, you definitely uh, do that with the story. My final question for you, Antonina, um, I always ask my guests, what would you like your legacy to be? My legacy would be, I, my motto is I was purposed for this. And what I would love for everybody that I come in contact with is to discover your purpose and to walk in it. I want you to leave a li live a life that's full of purpose, which is I really believe we all created to help one another, to help one another reach their goal. And what I'm leaving for my kids is a legacy of one, faith and trust in God, and two, to discover their purpose and chase their dreams. My daughter came to me and she told me, she, she said, Mom, she said, I'm a dream my way to success. I'm going to keep dreaming until I'm successful. And she's only 13 years old. And, and that just was like, oh, my God. So my legacy is already going down to my right. children. And I'm so, so proud of them. So I would just say, chase your dreams. Go after whatever it is that you want to accomplish. I can't tell you how many times a door shut in my face. And, you know, many times as Christians, or I hear a lot of people say, well, when one door closed, go to the next one. But that's not the case. Doors closed in my face, and I had to kick them down. You know, I, I don't want to speak to you because you're not the one that's got the answer for me. Let me speak to your boss right. or the boss. So sometimes we can't just allow the door to close in our face. We got to be aggressive and kick, take what belongs to us. So basically, we just got to walk in our purpose. And, and I want everybody to discover their purpose and walk in it and don't let anything stop you. No matter what your past looked like, you can make it to a brighter future if you believe. Thank you so much for those words. Thank you for what you did and the sacrifice because, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to do. It's hard to tell your story when you you have people that do judge and, and have, you know, are talking about you. So the, um, the courage that it took to make the video, um, I applaud you for that. And because you have encouraged lots of people, many people, and that's, that's what's needed, especially for our young women. That is definitely what's needed. So I, um, before I let you go, I want you to let everybody know how they can get in contact with you if they need to get in, in contact with your organizations. Just leave your uh, contact information. Okay, you definitely can get in contact with me through um, social media, Facebook. You can find me at Antonina Griffin. I don't know if I'm at my limit of friends yet, but you definitely can subscribe to my page. Also, you can like the Scar Foundation page on um, Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter, my scar underscore purpose. And my website should be up at the end of this month, which is this week, I believe. Um, and it's www.AntoninaLGriffin.com. Thank you so much for um, joining the show, and I appreciate you, and I love you. Okay, thank you so much, Kimberly. Right. Thank okay. you. Bye-bye. Be blessed. You too. All right. Bye. What a wonderful, inspirational, encouraging woman of God. Antonina Griffin wonderful conversation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Join me next week. We'll have another wonderful woman to discuss and just talk with. Um, you know, I, I see these women and I'm just inspired myself um, with the array of, of wonderful women that I come in contact with. Um, I'm going to leave you guys with the video that Miss Antonina put together and I hope it encourages you and blesses you as it did me. Thank you for joining me on Conversations. I'm Isis. <laughs>
Conversations. I talk with Pastor Nicole Johnson. And I look at my life now, and you know, sometimes we want to hold on to our own hurt, but God's saying, No, this is what I did for you. You don't have to hold on to it. We beat ourselves up more, and God will forgave us. 